Hi everyone, and welcome to another quick video in my Piano to Orchestra series. Today we'll take a look at my recent orchestration of the first theme to Amy Beach's Variations on Balkan Themes, Opus 60. This short excerpt was the assignment for the month of June in my orchestration exercise series for my Patreon supporters. I assign the exercise at the beginning of the month, and some of my patrons submit their orchestrations for feedback. Then at the end of the month, I share my own orchestration, this month I did a patron live stream where I discussed the decisions I made, why I made them, all of that. In this video today, I'll discuss some of that again, and also have a look at the mock-up I just finished using orchestral tools samples. First, let's hear the original piano version using Dorico playback. This is just the first section of Amy Beach's Variations on Balkan Themes, but if you have time, definitely go check out the full piece. As I said, this is just the first section of Beach's work, only 20 measures total. It begins with a four measure melodic idea in C sharp minor that repeats, then a modulation at the end of measure eight to E major with a climactic moment here in measure 13 that begins a modulation back to C sharp minor with a cadence in measure 16. It ends with a final four measure phrase that repeats the previous four measures, but overall much quieter and a bit thinner than before. It's important to get a sense of the form when orchestrating because it can and perhaps should influence your orchestration choices. For instance, I think the first eight measures have a very similar sonority and emotion throughout, so I wanted to maintain a similar timbre throughout that because I'm really just trying to capture a single feeling, specifically one that's dark and a bit sad. To my ears, the next section in E major offers a brief sense of hope. So the musical character has changed a bit and therefore the orchestral texture and timbre can change with it. While the first eight measures were dark and gloomy, these measures need to sound a bit more uplifting, perhaps using brighter timbres and instruments. And finally, the last four measures, even though they are repeating to some extent what just came before, I wanted this to be a completely different texture and much thinner than the previous one. These 20 measures are very melody heavy, so above anything else, I wanna make sure the melody is heard clearly through an orchestral texture. You could choose a lot of different instruments or combinations of instruments for this first theme. It's in a range that works for a lot of different instruments, violins, violas, clarinets, a bunch of others. I ended up choosing English horn plus half of the cello section muted. This melody sits up on the A string of the cello, which has a brighter timbre and a strong ability to cut through an orchestral texture. By muting the cellos, I'm dulling some of those higher frequencies, which fits the mood of the composition better. And by dividing the cello section in half, I'm further cutting back on the intensity of that A string. I think muted cellos plus English horn sounds really nice and captures that inherent sadness of this melody. Underneath the melody, I have two clarinets, two bassoons, a few horns, muted violas, and the lower division of muted cellos to work with. All of these instruments are capable of playing softly in this range and can contribute to the dark timbre that I want here. 
Let's first hear woodwinds and horns. I wanted this group of instruments to sound complete, even before adding in the strings. For the most part, the muted strings are doubling lines from the woodwind and horn texture. Here's what they sound like. So in the first eight measures, I'm not using upper winds, brass, other than horns, and I'm not using violins just yet. Let's give this entire section a listen. You heard there at the end the muted violins entering on beat 3 of measure 8. I'm having violins, clarinets, and two horns take over the melody here, and then in measure 11 I actually bring in flutes an octave above. This is really the only time I adjust the register of any of these notes on the piano score. I wanted to highlight the brighter climactic moment, and one way to do that is to bring in higher frequencies. In measure 13, the flutes are up the octave, oboes an octave below them, and a bassoon an octave lower. First violins and cellos are also in octaves playing this melody, with the remaining low winds, low brass, and remaining strings filling out the rest of the texture. Let's listen to the whole section. This section then descends and cadences on octave C sharps, and there are pickup notes leading into the final four measure phrase. I initially thought cellos or violas would work here on these pickups, but that sort of locks me into using strings in the last four measures, which would certainly be fine, but for some reason I was hearing just woodwinds and horns on the last phrase. That's a flute on the melody joined by English horn again, clarinets, bassoons, and horns on accompaniment. Because this entire piece has a chorale-like texture, it's important to find instruments that blend well together in the background, and you can't go wrong with some combination of horns, bassoons, and low clarinets. Alright, so let's hear the full mock-up once more. 95% of this is Orchestral Tools Berlin series. I'm using Berlin Woodwinds, Berlin Brass, and Berlin Consordino strings. And then I'm layering some of the strings with Cinematic Studio strings. I'm using a combination of microphone positions. For strings, the Deca Tree is my main mic, then I've added in most of the others a bit. I really like the Outrigger mics for adding width. 
For winds, I like the tree and ORTF mics with just a bit of spot and surround. And then for brass, I wanted more distance, so I'm using more of the surround in addition to the tree. I've added a bit of reverb. I'm using Cinematic Rooms Pro with a tail length of about two and a half seconds. For this kind of piece, I really don't want to do too much in terms of mixing, just a bit of EQ and light compression. That's basically it. Okay, here's the mock-up once more. Hope you enjoy. All right, that's it for this one. All of the materials like MIDI files, Dorico file, Cubase, Studio One files, they're all on my Patreon page. The link to that is below. And if you would like to be part of the orchestration exercise for the month of July, I'll be uploading the new exercise soon to my Patreon page. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.